Hello Aces, welcome back to module six, lesson 1.2, growing your home base with lead magnets. In this lesson, you're gonna learn how you're gonna be able to create lead magnets to grow your home base. How do you deliver valuable content? Now, in the last lesson, we talked about creating your own website. Today, we're talking about giving them a lead magnet and also start delivering value consistently. To start off, we need to understand what is a lead magnet? A lead magnet is basically a resource or basically a bribe that you're giving your customers for free in exchange for their email. It's also basically getting your foot in the door. It allows you to give get permission from your customers to start communicating with them. Now, a disclaimer for you is that you need to make sure you're familiar with the your country's specific email laws because there are different laws out there that prevents people from spamming your customers. Lead magnets need to be something that is valuable for your customers, something that they actually care about. It's not something that um, that's you're just throwing out there just for the sake of throwing out there. That's the reason why we've done all the legwork to see what is valuable in your customers' eyes. So that's when this comes into play. Now, what are the different types of lead magnets? There are free guides to something that your customers really care about that solves their problem, that gets the job to be done for them. An example of that would be a guide to eating sashimi fish if you were to run a sushi restaurant and you're catering to someone who's really professional, not professional, very particular and very, very hardcore and very passionate about the sushi um, industry, then you can actually create a guide to teach them how do they properly eat sashimi fish. Another example would be a guide to celebrating Cinco de Mayo. If you have a Mexican restaurant and basically you want to be festive and you really cater towards, I guess, people that are wanting to get submersed into this culture, then a guide like this, people will be all over it. Another type of lead magnets would be promotional coupons. What are promotional coupons? They're 25% off your next visit, free drink on your next visit, stuff like that to bribe your customers in exchange for their email. We see these pop-ups all the time, as you can see right here, 10% off, so on and so forth. These are all lead magnets. We see this being practiced with multiple different trades and you should definitely use it in your restaurant. Make sure lead magnets create, what that you create grabs people's attention right away. And as you can see from this example right here, a 10% off in your face right there and then for people that are interested in buying, this grabs their attention right away. Um, and on top of that, you need to be super focused and clear on what the offer is and its rules. Never let these lead magnets backfire and bite you on the ass because you're not clear. You're trying to communicate too much. Have one thing and one thing only that you're trying to give your customers. So it's an easy yes or no. That's the objective of your lead magnets. Now, one thing is that you need to integrate your lead magnet into email marketing services to capture and deliver these lead magnets. This is a little bit more technical. Once you create this guide, let's say for example, you spend an afternoon created a guide on what is the proper way of eating sashimi. You created it, you send it up, uh, you send it to your designer to create it into a PDF that is great for delivery. Now what do you do with it? You need to put it and integrate that with an EMS um, such as email, uh, uh, MailChimp or Active Campaign. You should also pair it up with pop-up tools like Sumo so then that way it pops up like this. Get 10% off with this order now and once you click into it, automatically the lead magnets gets delivered to the customer's email. If you don't know how to set this up, and I think for a lot of you guys, it's just basically going in one year and out the other year is completely fine. In the link below, go download how do you set up um, this whole tech technology so then that way 
um, you can actually set it up properly. We have instructions in the link below. So just go download it and you can go th through it step by step. So then that way you can integrate everything together from your website to your email marketing services. Now, after you have got your customers emails. Okay. After your customers put in their email, they received a free guide to eating free, uh, sashimi the properly. Now it is your time to deliver consistent value. You've got their email and you're supposed to basically just retain them one at a time, right? How do you deliver value? What kind of things would they find valuable to receive from you? each and every single week. It could be promotions. It could be industry news, announcement of new items about your team. What is value in your customer's point of view? Something that you want to prevent from doing is sending promotion after promotion, after promotion, after promotion. When you keep doing that, your promotion is no longer promotion. It's basically the price that you're selling it at because people are primed. They understand that, oh, you know what? This place, they always offer 20% off and you always wait and you basically train your customers to wait for that 20% off coupon. So do not run promotions like that all the time. You're supposed to actually allow yourself to actually stay top of mind in your customer's point of view. So sometimes value doesn't equate to just promotion. Sometimes they want to read about your stories. Sometimes they want to know what's going on behind the scenes. How are you surviving the pandemic? What are the challenges that you face? What are some of the behind the scenes stories? They would love to read that and keep up to date with your restaurants. These are valuable content, which you can share with your customers. Once again, this allows you to stay top of mind when they're considering where to eat. You're basically building that relationship and ultimately you're building trust. It's like going to your friend's place to eat dinner, right? When you are filling in and updating your customers on your everyday life or your weekly life and what you're doing, not just selling them all the time. When they think about eating sushi, they'll come to your place because they're like, oh, right, my friend that I just read the email, they're struggling, but you know what? It's okay, they, they're up and uh, running already again because they read your newsletter, they read your emails, and that's how you're gonna be able to create valuable content that you're delivering to them all the time. As you can see here, when we're running our ice cream shop, this is something that we sent out on a monthly basis. Whenever we have new items, we would send them an email. Whenever we are building new locations, we keep them up to date, even though it's not at their, uh, in the same country that they're at, we still keep them up to date because at the end of the day, we want them to be part of the journey. And as you can see here, we did our customer appreciation month and basically, send them an offer. Now <clears throat> you'd be thinking, okay, now I get it. I know how to build my home base. Go ahead and start creating your website, create your lead magnet and follow the instructions in the description and in the resources below. So then that way you can set everything up. If it is a little bit too complicated, then go find someone that can help you do that. Either a freelancer or a local talent. Next up is to create on other people's home base. And what I mean by that is Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, all these different platforms. Now you can start creating content on these different platforms. It is very similar principle applying to these different platforms. All you need to understand is what is valuable for your customers and create content and post those type of contents on the other platforms. What do they want to see from your Facebook? What do they want to see on your Instagram? Instagram's platform is very visually um, orientated. So make sure you take great, great photos and we're going to cover how you're going to be able to create content for your Instagram in the next lessons. Okay. So make sure that you guys keep watching. Um, the principles are the same. It's just the medium that changes the platform that changes the principles of creating a lead magnet, the principles of creating something that is valuable for your customers. These are things that are universal across platforms. So make sure you guys go through this lesson again, if you're not that clear. 
know that you don't have to be on all the different platforms. And this is something that a lot of people fail on because they're like, oh, you know what? Everyone's on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook. You know what? I must create accounts for all those and I must be active on the, all those platforms. Unfortunately, it is very, very tough to dominate and do well on all those platforms, which is the reason why just pick one to start and do it super well. When you do one thing super well, that itself would be able to be enough and it actually has a synergetic effect for you to build on other platforms as well. And that's exactly what I'm doing with my uh, own channels. Like we've been growing on YouTube like crazy. We have tens and thousands of followers on YouTube and now I'm starting to build my Instagram. So that's how I'm doing it. I'm doing and preaching what I am. And, and, and talking about. So make sure that you guys only start with one platform and dominate dominate that and do it super well. Now it is, it is your turn to strategize which broadcast stations you wanna build on and start building your home base and start delivering value. That's the key here, guys, deliver value. Build one other people's home base and start delivering value as well. So your website, your own email list, and one platform that is other people's home base. And that's what you need in order for you to start creating your loyal fan base. In the uh, lesson resource link below, download the worksheets and follow along. In this lesson, you talked and you've learned how do you build your broadcast stations with lead magnets. Hopefully you guys learned everything you could. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. In the next lesson, we're gonna talk about the three ways to find content ideas that your customers will love. We talked about delivering value. In the next lesson, we dive way deeper into it. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.